descending from the tribe of Africa, inspired by the great black leaders. Van Glorious, this is protected by the red, the black, and the green, with a king. If hip-hop has the ability to corrupt young minds, it also has the ability to uplift them. Cause I'm seeing bright visions of how we should be living. Unified, strong, making our own decisions. Hip-hop city, higher minds will listen. Welcome, this is your girl Trini C. We are here on stage live, Hip Hop Nation Twin Cities, and I'm doing another edition. And I'm excited to have a wonderful guest in the studio by the name of Big Tufa. Big Tufa. Yeah. Big Tufa. Yeah. I'm going to get to that name in a second. <laughs> Big Tufa, welcome. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for and having me. Accepting uh, the invite and accommodating the change in schedule because we were supposed to have you on last month. Mm -hmm. Right. So, who are you, Big Tufa? Who am I? I'm just a guy that loves music, that loves, you know, the grind, the hustle, and just try to live the best that I can, you know? Okay. And where are you from? Are you from the Twin Cities or do you live in the Twin Cities? Are you visiting? Uh, I live in the Twin Cities now. I'm a, I'm a Minnesotan, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, you repping our, our, repping our whole yeah. wild look here. Yeah, so we're loving it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I got to represent, you know, but I'm originally from West Palm Beach, Florida. That's South Florida, you know. PBI, West uh, Palm Beach. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. And, and like, why? Minnesota, how you how you come up this way? Just they got good money up here, man. Yeah, the they money do. Money is great. Man. Yes. You know what I mean? It's just that snow, you know what I mean? Like it cold. You gotta pay a price somehow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. West Palm Beach. Yes, West uh, Palm Beach. All right. And how long were you doing music over that way? Well, you know, I produce for uh family members, you know, people in the neighborhood and stuff, you know, everybody. You know, used to you know sit around and you know uh, and gang uh, you know it's, you know drink <laughs> <laughs> and have the big dream drink, of you're yeah, gonna do this yeah, right. You know what I mean? Cooking some Italian food with Italian seasoning. You right. Know, and uh, we'll just freestyle. You know what I mean? And it's just you know from a kid. You know what I mean? Growing up, you just freestyle with these dudes. These I never really hung around people my age, so the guys was a lot older who I was hanging around with. You know. The neighborhood bad guys, you know. Got it, got it, got it. How did you come up with the name Big Tufa? How do you spell it real quickly? <laughs> Tufa? Yeah. So Tufa is like T O O F A, like two for one. That's how oh. you say it. Too, too fat, take away the T. Okay. Uh, my grandmother gave me that name. You know, nice. rest in peace, Eva May. I love you. So it just, it just stuck with you the yeah, whole entire way it didn't have anything to do with music well i started producing for my cousin and stuff in south georgia and uh you know we was trying to figure out a rap name right. you know and uh shout out to y'all stick mafia i love y'all boys still though but uh yeah he was like just use the name grandma gave you you know so period you know yeah tufa you know right and she's shining down smiling right now in this interview yeah Look at you. <laughs> you are big. Big too fun. <laughs> now, did she give you the B.I.G. attached to it? Or no, no, no. You added big, that not, part? No, I added that part. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just okay. too fun. I okay. apologize. Right. And so, like, really, like, how long have you been actually doing this music thing? I'd say for about, you know, I've been, I, I, I did it for about four years, five years strong. It's just wherever I moved that, you know, I, I, I connected with people who was doing music. Right. And, you know, like, uh, for example, you know, I was in Chicago, you know, in 2012, and, uh, you know, they had a strong movement going on. The, the, the artists who was, as artists, wasn't that popular. They were still, you know, local, you know, and I was down there, you know, and I hooked up with some guys, you know, I was just associated with, you know, some of the bigger guys who's in the game now. I'm right. not gonna say any names, but you know, I look at I look at that though as an opportunity missed though because I could have you know uh, put myself out there a little bit more because the people that were alive at the time and also made a name for themselves, you know, I, they was in hands reach of me, you know, right. and I didn't take advantage of that opportunity. But anyways, you know, I was I was in a competition with my cousin, um, you know, and produced for them uh, album Yachtstick Mafia, which is only on YouTube right now. Nice. I'm working with them to try to get it on all social media platforms or all platforms, but right. streaming pa platforms. It's different how just a small space of time things have yeah. changed. Yeah. It used to be CDs and Exactly. Tapes I used to be at the store selling CDs, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, all electronic. And like, here, grab tapes. my CDs. Yeah. Give somebody something yeah. physical. Now it's like, follow me, follow me. And yeah. everybody's like, mm. 
you know? Yeah. I would still do the CDs if I was still in the music industry. Blow people's mind. There'd be still a lot of vehicles that use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to give them something. Right. Yeah. And then on the inside, have like a QR code. You can still get it electronically. Yeah, you're right. You know, I put up, a, you know, at the stop signs, you know, locally. Right. Just have just it up there. Just hang out the window and put the posters on the electric pole. Yeah, got to have a good. With the staple you know, gun. Yeah. Talk to the city about mm -hmm. that. Hopefully they don't rip it down. Right. Don't find you. Yeah. Okay, so you are here on On Stage Live on Hip Hop Nation, Twin Cities. Now, just to confirm, what type of music do you do? Well, I do any type of music. I like listening to all type of music, you know, uh, gospel music, you know, hip hop, R&B. You know, I'm a big R&B soul type of guy. Um, reggae, I love reggae, you know, but uh -huh. I like that, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. I like that old school reggae, you know that. Right, that lover's rock, that yeah. rubber dub. That, that rebel music, yeah. you know what I mean? Yep. But, you know, I listen to all types of music. You know, I write music. I used to write gospel music. You know, I used to, I started out in a choir. Nice. So that's Look how, you know, you. I ain't going to hide that, Church you know. Church boy. Yeah, mm, you know, my, my godmother, tuba. Pastor uh, Levy slash Newell, you know, she right. put me on the keyboard, you know, and Dre was on the drums, and we made it work. I couldn't play how everybody else mm. played, but she loved me. So every time she looked at me, say, get on that piano. Right. I got on the piano. You know? But good music culminates all different types of music yeah. if you're creating good music because you might take a beginning of a gospel song, throw in some country, mm -hmm. throw in some strings, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then make your hip hop bass line and I mean, yeah. you're like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, good music, real good, good music. music. Yeah. Not just the one to like listen to it for 20 minutes and it's hot and it's, for a yeah. week and then. Yeah. That, who was that that's, person? How, that's the music they're making right. now. You know what I mean? Good um, music is timeless, right? Yeah. Good right. music is timeless. There's some good artists out there, but you know, everything is managed the way it's managed in the world, you know? Right. If yeah. they allow themselves to be managed, that's the key thing. Yeah. But that's a whole nother conversation we might talk about in a couple minutes. But, okay. um, so you've been here. You've been here for a little bit, and you're doing music here now. Yes. All right. I am. And when is your most creative time to do music? Any time or winter time? Winter time. I like doing. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Seriously. I sat down the other day and I said, man, because you know I I do maybe two or three songs a, a week, but before it was like a song every day, you know, because mm -hmm. I don't really write music down. I just go with the flow. You right. Know? Cut all the lights off, open the window a little bit. That's like that bit of how your whole house cold. Right. <laughs> yep. But it also wake you up. It's yeah. a good way to sober yourself up and yeah. be like, oh, back yeah. to reality. Here we are. Yeah, I feel you. A lot yeah. of people get creative in the winter or the rainy time. Mm -hmm. though. You'd be surprised because right. they're forced to be in a space where they can't get out and move around. So. Right. That's true, too. Yeah. So my name is Trini C. We are here on stage live on Hip Hop Nation's Twin City. I have the honor of Big Tufa being on stage with us. We'll be right back after this moment. What's up? What's up? Smoke D, House of DJs, Black Medallion Radio. And when I'm in town, I'm always checking out Hip Hop Nation on First World TV. Tune in. Chat bout. Welcome back. My name is Trini C. You're here on stage live. Hip Hop Nation's Twin City, and we are rocking and rolling with the one and only Big Tufa. How you doing? Yes, straight from PBI, West Palm Beach, but like <laughs> now he lives here in the Twin Cities. She say PBI. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the airport code, PBI. Oh, that's the airport code. <laughs> I used to work with the airlines, so <laughs> people would be like, PBI, peanut butter, peanut butter, and what? Peanut butter. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to ask you. So we were talking earlier about the type of music that you do. You love all types of music. Right. You get creative indoors when it is cold, when you're coming in from the cold and you just want to do your thing and you and them four walls. Right. Um, yeah. And so give me a time and moment where you you just created one of the best pieces of work ever. Um, my favorite song is probably uh, You Know What's Up. You Know What's uh, Up? Yeah, it's on my uh, album, okay. One Man Army, out on all platforms. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I I made that in Atlanta actually at one of my friends I grew up with house. Nice. And he uh he had some company over there, you know. I wouldn't say <laughs> he had some guys over there. Right. And I was making the beat, and when I made the beat, it took me about an hour to make the beat, and I'm talking about just to make it from scratch and right. format it and equalize it a little bit, you know, to make everything hit, not to blend into each other, you know, sound good. And I came back and made the song. So I, I made a song in about the, from scratch to finish in about three hours. What? So uh, 
yeah, I love music, man, you know? So I was just in a zone and it just, they was doing their thing, you know, sipping and, you know, what doing what they do. And I was on the other end on the computer with the speakers and I just made a song. And that's probably my best song to date. So, yeah. And so real quickly, and I'll ask you a couple times in case people watching different times of the show, mm -hmm. where do people find you? What is your social medias? Uh, Instagram, Tufa, T-O-O-F-A underscore O-C-3. Uh, Facebook, Tufa Montana, you know, right. uh, Snapchat, Tufa underscore OC3, everything, Tufa underscore OC3. Okay, okay. Yes. And then what is like, what inspires you to keep on going in this industry? Because especially in hip hop industry, rap, R&B, the in entertainment industry in general, it can get, it can get cutthroat. So what, yeah. what motivates you? Is it your family? Is it your dog? Like what? You know, like you're. Well, you know, I touched it a little bit. I was there at the door a little bit, you know, had a couple opportunities. Like I said, everywhere I moved at, you know, and even in Georgia, you know, it was just like not even doing music, but bumping the people who were doing music. And these people, you know, affiliated with people like, you know, Young Thug, not on his personal stuff, but on his music genes, you know, right. he's a good artist, you know what right. I mean? So it's like, and Amigos, you know, I was around up before when they was around and I'm just in that right spot and you know, just traveling. Everywhere I travel, you know, I connect with artists. So Right. Yeah. I so just are love the human music. beings in that connection and that desire and passion. Right. And yeah. this could be times where I say, you know, I'm not doing music. I'm not, you know right. what I said? I've been I've doing done this it. for too long. I'm but not gonna be in this game and then I get a phone call. And I'm gonna tell you a crazy story, right? So this gotta be like two thousand and fourteen, fifteen, right? When when Chicago before I even got to Chicago, I'm in Marshall's on the phone with my brother from matter of fact, the same one from Atlanta. And um he uh I'm on the phone, I'm like, man, I need a studio up here. And you know what I mean? It was just like, and a dude approached me in Marshalls, man. And he was like, yeah, man, uh, we got a studio down the street, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, that's cool. He's dropping a conversation. Right, yeah, but... exactly. So <laughs> he like, yeah, man, uh, you know, this my this my brother right here. So right. his brother, his brother looked like, he looked up and like, yeah, all right, okay. I'm like, okay, it might be so. He's like, yeah, that's, you know, this my this my this my brother. You don't know who he is, and come to find out, you know, make a long story short, he was a big producer. Right. And I recorded one of my songs called Op Three. Uh, it's uh on YouTube. Uh, I, I recorded that song in his in his apartment. So when I you can record anywhere. You can record it in a yeah. car in a closet. Like re recording in my son yeah. has a walk-in closet. When I'm doing voiceovers for the radio, mm -hmm. I go in his closet. And I remember him like he was like 16. He's like, why are you coming out of my room? And I was like recording and he was like, what? He has a walk-in closet with a right. door and his clothes come like my soundproofing. Right. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, all his shoe exactly. boxes, literally. And he was like, tell me about this, mom. Are you sure? <laughs> are you See, going to my stuff? And I was like, yeah. no, I was actually, I go in there to record. So, you know, he renamed his closet, my little mini studio, but right. you can record anywhere. And see, I'm from an era where we used to record the songs on tapes. You right. know what I mean? On the, off the radio, right. you know, I'm a nineties baby. So, you know, yeah. we used to record on the tapes and just play it back. If it was an instrument or a beat, had to record it on the tape, play right. it back. <laughs> we took the tape to the studio. Right. So you said you've had the opportunity to produce great music in mm -hmm. great spaces. Right. What's what's the next step to that? Like, what what do you think? Not like you're missing anything out of the equation, but to mm -hmm. educate if anybody's watching, what happens after you produce the song? Then what? Uh, well, you want to make sure before you put it out that it's good, qual good quality music. How you do you? Know what I mean? How? I mean. You know, it's got to sound right, got to right. hit right. Got to you know, master you gotta it. Got to master it, and then you got to make sure that it's relevant. You right. Know? But relevancy, I, I try not to stay relevant because I, I feel like I'm in my own lane. So you know, I don't really listen. I I listen to a couple songs here and there, but you know, I'm more of a I like soul music. That's right. what's that different music right. and reggae music right. and the old school '90s music. I listen to that. I don't really listen to what's popping now because. But what's popping now, they take them little samples from the old school music here and there, and they they intertwine it a lot of times. You'd be yeah. surprised. But the key, the, rule, the key to the game is staying consistent. You might sleep Period. on that song for eight months, you know what I mean? Three weeks, I'm dropping another song. Right. It is. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you're and you are the biggest part of your brand and how you yeah. move out here. Yeah. And it is about consistency. That's what a lot yeah. of people fail to understand. And see, I tried to, you know, I tried to live a family life, you know, and then some some little speed bumps in the road, but right. you know, I still got I still got twenty thousand dollars worth of equipment. You right. know what I mean? But the way Minnesota work, you know, I'm trying to get my feet in Minnesota, man. You know? Okay. You, get my you feet in way? that snow, you know what Yeah, I mean? <laughs> you're on your way. Just don't let it get cold on you. Keep yeah. on going. Get oh, the right no, Tim's on and up. keep it moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When the snow comes, you need that shovel. You know, there's there's levels to that. Yeah, right? and, and if anybody's seeing this, we do need a Timberland store at the outlet. <laughs> Y'all got all these stores here, man. We need a Timberland <laughs> outlet store. And that is not for an endorsement, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Again, my name is Trini C. You're here with us on stage live on Hip Hop Nation Twin Cities. I have the honor of Big Tufa being in the building. We will be right back after these moments. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Juice Lord. And when I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch on stage live Hip Hop Nation, First World TV. Peace. Welcome back. As I said, we're here with Big Tufa talking about the industry, the game, the existing in life as a family man, as a human being, as a black man. Um, and as an industry individual, trying to continuing to try to uh, attempt and break barriers. So you you said 2012. We're in 2023. So you've been doing this at least 10 yeah. to 15 years, right? Yeah, about 10 years. 10 I'll years say straight. You know, yeah, off and on. Right. Know. And so Atlanta, Chicago, West Palm Beach. You're now in Minnesota. Right. Um, and so have you had the honor of touching the stage here in the Twin Cities? Uh, I, I perform. Shout out to DJ Cam Jones. You know, I, I touched one of his stages one nice. time, and it was pretty lit. You know, okay. but you know, I want to get get out there to you know the radio stations and you know try to get them to get some of this local love. And you know, it got to be a competition because you know. Right. But you know, yeah, man, get somebody touch somebody radio station, man. We making good music out here. We man. are, yeah. yeah. And so, how did that work? How did you get connected with that individual? Did you talk to somebody at work, or you were just researching on social media? Oh yeah, definitely social media, man. You know, uh, just seeing what's out there, doing um, research, YouTube. You know what I mean? And also in, in person, you know, you might bump in somebody at a at a party or something. So right. you know, just going over credentials, like you know, seeing what's up, and that's how we connect. You mm -hmm. know, how is how do people em do they embrace you? Because, you know, I know Minnesota can be territorial, right? And so yeah. you come up and be like, hey, I'm this guy, or, you know, like, or you just, do you just come up and introduce yourself and then give your spiel after the fact? Like, how does nah, it work nowadays? Know, it's, it's always a respect thing, right. you know, real, recognized, real, you know, anytime, right. any day, you know, so. Yep. Uh, that's how it is, you know, you move with respect, you're going to get respect. And I, and I own the man respect, I just show respect and I get respect back. Period. And that's how it is, you know, right. so. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. big word and yeah. loyalty, which is hard to come by nowadays. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, you just got to stay in and out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You stay in too long, it might be a problem. Right. <laughs> in so, and out. Okay. You're in the music thing. Mm -hmm. Who, who, Who is like some of your favorite artists? It could be coming up artists. It could be past tense. It could be uh, Dolly Parton. No, Dolly Parton. <laughs> no, man. I listen to a lot of 90s music, you know, Tupac, you know, old school vibes, you know. I listen to a lot of slow music that I hopefully can eventually to get by those rights one day. You know, I got right. fit. I'm trying to be on my my Birdman type deal now, right. you know. So we're trying to sign a couple artists, possibly in the future, but, you know, keep it going, you know. So I just love music, you know, Al Green, you know, I listen to, you know, Temptations. I listen to a lot of old school stuff. You know what Stevie I mean. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Sometimes. OJ's. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> OJ's though. I love the OJ. You Earth, Wind I mean? and Fire. Earth, Wind and Fire. Yeah. Uh, I know, love Earth and Fire. I'm they wrote a song Osley for my Brothers. son in September. Uh, Luther. I like Luther. Luther May he know? rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. R. P. Made good music. Man, right. You know. Yeah, people be snoozing on that stuff. Yeah, they be that, like, oh, that's what my parents listen to. That's nah, music. Yeah, that's good music. That's real good music. That's real good music. Yeah. So, okay, so if you could imagine yourself on stage right now with... Uh, Gotta be my favorite artist as of right now. Honestly, it got to be on stage, J. Cole. It got to be J. Cole. Yeah. got to be J. Cole, man. Have you been to one of his shows? Uh, Yes, I actually have. Okay. 
No, actually, actually, I seen him twice because Twenty One Savage brought him out in Atlanta one time. So nice. I mean, yeah, I love J Cole, man. I like his music. You know, okay. I like his slow music right. the best, though. You know. So Atlanta, people talk about Atlanta. They talk about like that's the place to go if you're yeah. in the industry, whether it's music or uh, video or or photography. Like, is it though? Man, black Atlanta. They call it the Black Hollywood. Right. Man. And when I tell you. It's a lovely city, man, because, you know, it's a lot of brothers down now, you know, like, it's a lot of brothers who work, too. The city bad. You got bad parts everywhere, you know, like, when you get up here, they tell you don't go to the north side. Right. <laughs> but, you know, it's got all kind of sides, but you got, you know, it's the black Hollywood, man. I ain't seen so many foreigners in my life, so many. Man, they got power down now, man. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favorite part about ATL? uh the culture the culture i gotta say the culture man. yeah you know they got uh martin luther king and his wife buried there you know that was a beautiful experience and just the rap culture that's all around the city how the old school rap was still in the city you know you might right. i lived on the uh, north side for about a year and a half two years and man i tell you i bumped into some everybody nice just at the gas station nice <laughs> literally at the gas station yeah pulling up me. big Two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand dollar car. Right. Yeah. At the gas station because we all need gas. At the gas station. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, who is that? How do they do that? Hey, just for respect. What's happening, bro? Right. Yeah. That's another thing I noticed about down south too is, uh, it is kind of like the Caribbean where people are cordial and friendly and good morning, good mm -hmm. afternoon, and yeah. they look at you in your eyes and speak to you. Right. Here it's like. Yeah, you they, say good morning, good yeah, afternoon. People are like, oh my yeah, god, are they? They gonna... don't even say good morning yes. at all. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's like my biggest pet peeve. I'll they be really like, don't. Yeah, like don't come and have a conversation with me because they, I'll let you finish it and then right. say good morning and right. say oh, and what be, you said. And then it'd be like, you can't speak, and then they have an attitude and they want to. And yeah, I'm just like, yeah. we we should speak to each other. Yeah, you gotta greet. I was taught that if I ain't sleep with you last night, you greet me. Right. Good How morning. you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Even if I did, I'm gonna say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you better, right? <laughs> Just not oh, like, yeah. it's time to go. Good morning. Yeah. All right. So tell us about the family. Do they, you know, do they embrace what you're doing? Do they support you? Oh, they my biggest supporters. You know, my dad, you know, shout out to Big Ron. You know, that's my biggest supporter. He on a couple of my songs. Matter of fact, you know, uh, One Man Army, I got a song called How How to Be a Man. Right. And he's on the hook in the middle uh, and a little bit of the second verse. So, you know, he's my biggest, you know, he keep me going, you know. He, right. He taught me music. Okay. You know. That's those nice. old school cuts, you know what I mean? I like to hear about the family, your grandmother, your yeah. your, your father, like just giving that, yeah. the, those accolades and that respect, like yeah. you said. You see, and my grandma, she somewhere. raised me, you know what right. I mean? She my was there to raise me, me you know, she died at 102, 101. Okay. Mine's but, still alive. You know, yeah. she raised me, you know it's, what I mean? And, yes. you know, my mama, you know what I mean? My grandma, my grandma was a can my my grandma on my mama's side, she was the candy lady. Right. So she was the one to put the fruit in the what they call them, the lily dillies, the frozen cups. Mm. <laughs> and so she they used to be coming, coming, coming. So, you know, I always had hustlers around me. We ain't right. gonna speak on her, you know. <laughs> like my granddad, they say I'm his twin, you know, I'm talking about back in the 60s with the slick back, you know right. what I mean? So I was raised around people you know with meaning, you know? Right. Yeah, man. With love. Yeah. Most importantly, love. Love, most right. definitely. Yeah. And I'm here with Big Tufa. We've had the honor of chopping it up today in the studio live here at CCX Media. I want to say thank you to you, but before we do that, any shout outs, any big ups you want to give to the masses out there? Hey, shout out to my city, you know, Minnesota. Shout out to Minnesota too, you know, I'm everywhere, I move around, you know. Shout out to uh, where I'm from, Palm Beach, you know, already the A. I ain't going to say names. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to my sisters and brothers, my daddy. I love y'all. My granddaddy, auntie, uncle, everybody. Man. Everybody. Yeah. And again, tell everybody, how can we find you if we need to be looking you up and want to hear your music? Yeah, man. On on uh, Facebook is Tufa Montana, T-O-O-F-A Montana. And on all us other social media platforms is T-O-O-F-A underscore OC3, Tufa underscore OC3. And same thing on YouTube? Uh, Tufa official, you know what I mean? Tufa okay. official. All right. It's him. I look forward to seeing you grow. All and right. 
watching the big things you do and supporting right. you and you. Uh, hopefully having you back again soon. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Energy and the gifts that you give to our community. All right. All right. I appreciate again, it. Again, my name is Trini C and we're here live and direct with Big Tufa in the building. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back with our next artist in a couple minutes. Yo, it's Louis Blaze. And when I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch on stage brought to you by First World TV. Welcome back. I am the one and only Trini C and I'm here live and direct with another wonderful artist, entrepreneur. I'll let him I'll let him say who and what he does in a few seconds, but welcome. Please let the masses know who are you? How you doing? You here with the one and only Mr. Mayhem. Mr. Mayhem. I've been following you for a long, 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 long time. Not in a stalkerish way, because I've been in the industry a long time, but yeah, I've been following you for a long time. Thank you for accepting my invite. No doubt. Especially on short notice. I think I gave you like a week's notice. For that. sure, for sure. Yeah, but that's what I do. I be like looking at social medias and I'm like, oh, let's see if this person will do it. So for sure, I'm honored. I appreciate you coming in and being here and present with us in the moment. For sure. So do tell everybody, tell the world who's watching, the 11 cities that get this program and uh, the social media that will watch it later. Who is Mr. Mayhem? Uh, well, you know, I started off doing music. Um, uh, Right now I'm into artist management. Uh, I started off doing music myself. I had, uh, you know, been doing music for a long time. I had a tape with DJ Drama. I was uh, basically out of the trunk, you know, yep. with mine. You know, I basically, you know, I was doing things underground. We were talking um, about out of the trunk, the yeah, CD, the DVD yeah. days, the tapes. I come from that era. Yes. I come from I that. I like that term, out of the trunk. I'm out of the trunk. Do Not out of the trenches, out of the trunk. Out of the trunk. <laughs> you know that, you know, because everyone, you know, everyone wants, wanted to get that deal. Everyone yes. wanted to, you know. They was hungry for everyone it. Everyone wanted that deal. Everyone wanted the, the label. Right. And wanted to, we, you know, I come from the era of do it yourself. Right. You know, we come from the mind state of, hey, $10 a CD, 100, 100 you know, 100000 that's a million dollars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Literally. And so we come And something from, you know, physical in your hand. You know. I was talking about that with Big Tufa. Like, you have a product to give somebody, not be like, follow me, and you're wondering if they're going to follow you. Exactly. So we come from that era, and, you know, so we come from to get it out of, so we, that's, you know, we, we deem the term out of the trunk. And so I come from that era, and, you know, that basically is, 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 uh, you know that that merch that going state to state something physical, city to city something tangible and yeah. you know it, it really don't you know they come up with the streams and uh it really killed the game yeah you, you really don't see that anymore and right so you know well and it was also like your own little pop-up shop yeah and i think people understand you it was forced for you to invest in yourself so it's mm -hmm. like I, if I'm gonna t if I'm gonna do this, I have to take it serious. I have to come up with the capital. Yeah. I have to come up with the graphics. I have to come yeah. up with actually investing the time and showing the producers and the engineers and the audio men yeah. that I'm serious because exactly. you're out and you have to have the vehicle exactly. to sell it out of the trunk. Exactly. I mean, you could be on the curb and borrow somebody's trunk, exactly. but still, there's like nine different steps to that. Exactly. So you're just not like, hey, put me on the mic. Exactly. I'm serious. I made something exactly. in Granny's kitchen, and so it really birthed the 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 boss mentality, the CEO mentality. Period. The I don't I don't need the label. So we really showed the label that hey, you need us too. So it really and you we're know, not disposable. You know, and it, and it showed the labels that hey, you know, we don't we don't need you. You know what you I mean? You need us. You need us. So right. I had the labels like, hey, hold on, we need in. You know, right. it really birthed the 360 deals because right. it was like, well, hold on. So it was like, you know, well, we want a piece of, you know, your clothing. We want a piece of your touring. We want a piece of everything. Because, because before it was your, like your video vixens, all of we it. We want a piece of everything. Yeah. Because before it was like, hey, we're gonna take it all. Exactly. Before it was like, okay, well, we're gonna sign this artist, and we're gonna give them a dollar off of each CD, mm -hmm. and we're gonna shelf them. But then the artist will be like, okay, cool. Well, 
but I'll just go on tour and right. I'll live off of that. But not really. You know what I'm saying? Because the tour takes everything. I'll, 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 but, <laughs> but that's when the 360 deal comes right. up because it's like, okay, well, you'll go on tour and then now the 360 deal is, well, we'll need a bit, we need something off your tour money, we need something off your merch money, we mm -hmm. need something off your acting, mm -hmm. because we feel your like appearances. We, we branded, we, your, made, we made something, so yeah. that's what the you 360, owe us. we yeah. owe us, mm -hmm. we need a piece of everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I come from that era of, you know, artists branding themselves and getting out the trunk and that grind and that grit, right. you know, so. And the empowerment of it. Exactly. Because I, I believe it really, especially the black men in the industry, it showed them that, man, I got my own business. What exactly. you talking about? Exactly. A, a felon could come out of prison and still make it out here and not have to satisfy all of these boxes and check all these boxes and, and, and live and provide for himself and his family. Exactly. Right. So I really, um, I love the music business so much i went to uh school i went to minnesota school of business for nice. music business nice and, that's um, no longer existing anymore it, it does, it no man that's sad exists. too the music schools they, are like just gone they're gone yeah. they don't teach the curriculum anymore right the and, principles um, of it the know-how they took uh mcnally smith yes yeah, so toki wright was over there yeah yep. toki wright was there my yep, engineer big up chris toki. blood he was there yep they took ipr he went to ipr they took that and uh, so I love music so much, then I just was like, well, I'm, I'm gonna start uh, helping artists and managing artists and pushing them and helping them further their career and um, keeping my hand. And I, ke I kept all my uh, my connects in the business, you know what I mean? I Like I said, I had a tape with DJ Drama, I'm, I'm right. the first artist in Minnesota to, to do that. Right. Had a nice big push. Um, I kept all my contacts, all my connections. Your black book, literally, your Rolodex. You know, yep. and so, uh, and now I'm, I'm, I'm into doing that, and, and, and it's a good feeling. Awesome. And, uh, and we know, need it. Yeah. And we need it. You know, and, yeah. I, and I love it, because yeah. that's all they need is a hand up. Yeah. You know, they need And they need the guidance. And the guidance. Yes. Because it's hard being an artist. And the investment of time. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, I know they call us the old heads. I say mm -hmm. I'm a pioneer. Mm -hmm. But I'm more and more, I'm extending my knowledge to these younger, especially females, women of color, mm -hmm. so that they can be successful. Because when I was coming up in it, it, as a female, and I speak on this all the time, the misogyny of it was so rough I can't I can't believe I'm still here doing it mm -hmm. but it's because I loved it and mm -hmm. I love doing what I do mm -hmm. and um we're going to talk a little bit more on that I'm so excited to have Mr. Mayhem in the building like mm -hmm. I said I follow people not just because but because I'm a, a dance hall queen a dance hall Caribbean person and I love hip-hop my family loves hip-hop and so if you want to be connected in this community you got to know who the movers and shakers are no so we'll be right back after this moment my name is Trini C I'm here with Mr. Mayhem and uh we'll be right back no doubt Man, it's Dub J. When I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch Hip Hop Nation on First Real TV. Peace. Hey, you're back. We are back. Live and direct, on stage live on Hip Hop Nation. My name is Trini C. We're here with Mr. Mayhem. We are chopping it up about his investment, not only in himself, but in our beautiful music community. And not just in the Twin Cities, because music expands everywhere if you are a true music head. Most definitely. So you are telling me you are now taking your great soul, because to be in this industry you, because you love it does not mean that we gain financial wealth from it. It means that we are God has blessed us with these moments that we want to share. So now you're, you're switching roles. Mm -hmm. And to stay consistent, you got to switch it up, right? You have to. And so you're providing the talent and the gifts and the knowledge to younger artists so that they can be successful. Most definitely. How is that going? Has it been empowering? Has it been a struggle? Has it been a fight? Because I know some of these young ones be like, man, you don't know nothing, homie. You old, what you talking about, dad? Like No, it's been it's been beautiful. It's been empowering. It's 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 been a blessing. Amen. Because uh I've learned a lot. You know what I mean? And so they're teaching you. You're not teaching just teaching me. A good leader lets other people lead, right? Yeah, it's, yes. they're teaching me. I'm, 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 I'm getting in tune, and and staying alive with the younger. Say it generation. again. Staying you know alive. Yes. Uh, you know, it's the the younger generation. They're they're keeping me in tune with the uh, with the younger the younger beats, the right. younger the movements, the younger all of movements, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like you know, you know my my artist John Ray. Uh, he has uh and, and and jazzy and skater like they, yeah how many they, artists do you have on your belt now uh, i got I six got, uh i got suavo i got jazzy i got john ray i got skater 
Um, um, I got a producer by the name of Raz, um, and it's like their their style of music. They all each have their own style. Nice. And it's like some of the stuff. It's like the 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 selection of the production that they may choose. Like when I hear the beat, I might be like, because mm. it's something that I'm not used to. I I wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't make it or do it. Yeah. The beat. Right. But when I hear them on the beat, it's like magic. Yes. And I'm like, whoa, it makes oh, sense. okay, that's where you yep. went with that. Here's the flour and the sugar, you now here's the saying? oil and the eggs. And Ooh, so it's there's like, the cake. so I'm learning, Yeah. you know, so it's keeping me in tune with and the relevant. younger generation. And relevant. And relevant yes. with, the, with the newer stuff. Right. And so like, they just, they just did a cipher and it just dropped like last week. It's, I heard about that. It's going crazy, yeah. everyone's yeah. talking. And everyone's like, and a lot of people, a lot of us old heads, it's like, why did they pick that beat? Why did they pick that beat? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, these are, it's these kids. This, right. this is the beat they want. This, this is what stuff. they want, yeah. And, and Cypher to them, they've learned from the pioneers, but Cypher to them now means just different. maybe something a little bit different. It's different. Yeah. You, know, you can us, make the cake, but maybe now they want icing on the cake. Or maybe they want cream cheese in the middle, right? Yeah. To us, it's different. Yeah. We, we, we like, you know, we, we might have did it to this kind of beat. You know, we might have freestyled it, right. you know. Now they, they, they want to do it pre-recorded right. to a younger style of beat, right. you know. Over, over the years, things change. The generations, you know, we, we have to adapt. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be the way Out we of the trunk it. on a cassette or a DVD now, or a CD. Now streams. You see what I'm saying? Because now you, go buy a vehicle right now. How much? How often are you going to get that type of technology in your vehicle? It's, it's right. no CDs yeah. in a vehicle anymore. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now we have to, we, we can't be like, you Unless know, you do a custom install. You know. Because mine is. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, it's, yeah. it's things we have to learn that. Right. It's not just going to be the way it was when we, we have to adapt. Right. You know what I mean? Now, when you we have to understand if, if, if you're into managing, mm -hmm. it's not going to be the way that it was when you, that's what I'm learning as working with these kids and working with, you have to learn that. Yeah. You have to adapt to things. Yeah. You know, you and that's to. what I'm being. And be flexible. I, you right. have to be flexible. Yes. This is their yeah. stuff. So learn it, yeah. you know, and that's the number one thing that I'm learning mm -hmm. with working with these kids is that, you know, hey, learn their stuff and right. adapt to it and, you know, learn, be right. open to it. And that's the number be one thing. Be open. Be yes. open. And be, and be grateful that to be open. I was having a conversation with my sister last night. She's just moved back from Virginia. Her daughter's been here in the Twin Cities. And we have kids the same age. And we were just talking about how our kids are versus how we were growing up, especially as Caribbean people. We work two and three and four jobs. Mm. My sons are telling me, that didn't make it right, mom. You need to learn balance. You need to calm down. You need to like smell the roses, right? right. But I was also telling her about our young people, especially our young people of color. They are in the Twin Cities. It's different. Right. They're doing things very different because they've had to navigate Philando mm. and George mm. and all the other things happening mm -hmm. and COVID mm -hmm. and, you know, human rights mm -hmm. and, you know, all kind of things was going on in the public schools with sexual assaults. And she was like, I never looked at it like that. Mm -hmm. Now you take a Caribbean mother and you're trying to have her instill Caribbean ways into a North American born child. I'm like, Tasha, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. These kids are different. And I said, you have to let your daughter lead. Most definitely. And she was like, trend I've never thought about like that but you have to if you're trying to keep your children and keep your children alive and keep that connection you a good leader lets other people lead and I'm mm -hmm. loving this this generation mm -hmm. I have dancers I have rappers in our family and I love how they educate me I'm like oh well, why are they doing it why, why are they saying that you know like mm -hmm. skeet skeet mm -hmm. we was in the club jamming the other day the kid's mom was right beside us she's like how do you know that music I'm like this beat alone take this take the instrument take the take the the vocals out of it the beat alone, she's like, back in our day, we would have never listen to that beat. Mm -hmm. But they took from back in our day to this day to make it what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let you know that um, I see what you're doing. I appreciate it. I hope our community appreciates it because not only is it warranted, but our young people need it. Most definitely. They, a lot of our men, of course, of course, our men of colors don't have their father figures mm -hmm. or they've lost their father figures. Or they don't know how to connect. Most definitely. They, it's something as simple as, my, my dad's here, but he doesn't get me. Mm. Yeah. And so by you being also that, that, that wind beneath their wings, I believe it's going to make them stronger in so many different elements of their life, not with just music. Most definitely. So I'm going to say from one 
black person to another, thank you. From one musician, music head to another, thank you. I Industry person, that. because uh, you deserve your roses and your carnations and your orchids and all of that good appreciate stuff. appreciate that. We want to touch more on, again, the type of music that Mr. Mayhem does and why. Obviously, we know why he's doing what he's doing. It's not just because he did it before for himself, but the community. Um, and so we're going to talk about that when we come back. But real quickly, before we go to break, your favorite artist of all time. It could be somebody new, old, seasoned, half-baked. Uh, it's probably going to be Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah, Mike Jack for sure. What a great way to start the day. Michael yeah, Jackson. Most definitely. Do y'all know who Michael Jackson is? If not, he's going to give you a little bit more taste of why he's doing music. My name is Trini C. I'm here live and direct with Mr. Mayhem. We are here on stage live, Twin Cities Hip Hop Nation. We'll be right back. What's good, everybody? It's your girl, EB. And when I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch Hip Hop Nation on First World TV. My name is Trini C. And I am live and direct here on stage, live on Hip Hop Nation Twin Cities. And my second guest today is the one and only Mr. Mayhem. How do you how do you spell that? How do people find you on social media? M A E. Well, please don't forget the Mister. The Mister. M I S T A, underscore, M A E H A M. That's my Insta. And then it's uh, M I S T A M A E H A M anywhere. Right. You're gonna find it. You know what I mean? All right. And if we don't, if you don't know what that is, let's we'll plug it back again in a little bit. For sure. So ten years ago, what were you doing? Ten years ago, um, what was I doing ten years ago? I was pushing a heavy line ten years ago. I was doing it crazy. Uh, like I said, uh, I had to tape with DJ Drama. I was, uh, I was all over the place. Uh, I had uh, doing stuff with uh, DJ Scream, um, DJ MLK, who was. Uh, T.I.'s DJ. I Look how important the, um, the DJs are. Big up uh, all the DJs crazy. around the world. Listen, we it, need um, them. Artists, like we need if you don't have a good uh, DJ around if, you, if you don't have good relationships with 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 DJs, you're you wrong. Have nothing. They, they are they the A and R. Yes. They are the real A and R. They right. are who are gonna break you. They are if you don't Make have you. a good relationship mm -hmm. with the DJ, you're wrong. Yes. Pay them. Yeah. Pay them. Pay, pay them, them. Get a good relationship. Don't talk about with my budget is the small. DJ. Then if your budget's small, you I shouldn't be doing it. I don't care. This. Go to yes. the club and pay them. Right. Buy them drinks. Yes. Tip them. <laughs> Tip them. Right. Fifty bucks every time. Yeah. Make sure your record is mastered and it sounds good. And pay your DJs. Right. So yeah, I was doing uh, press runs with DJ MLK. Right now, to this day, that's why they um, spin uh, John Ray's joints whenever. Uh, DJ, uh, uh, what's her name? Kay Young, I think, mm -hmm. with, at uh, Hip Hop Nation. She was uh, spinning. That's why they spin our joints on um, uh, Hip Hop Nation. That's, uh, what's that? Uh, what's Serious. that? Uh, Serious Radio. Yep. yep. Uh, I was just It's all about respect. Tufa talked about it earlier, having that respect in yeah. the game. I was just going real crazy and, and, and pressing my line right. 10 years ago. So, right. yeah. And Did was, you imagine yourself that you would still be here in the industry? I did. I mean, I was fresh out of prison and um, I just had a point to prove and I, you know, I wanted to change my life and, and, and go real crazy. And, um, you know, I recently lost my mom mm. in pr while I was in prison. So that was a hard time hard. for me. Yeah, it was a really bad Sorry, time, man. you know, for me 10 years ago. You know right. what I mean? And um, I, I was in a really dark place. Right. And I turned it around and, Amen. you know, and, and I you invested in yourself. Mm hmm. And, 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 and you got out the cell mm -hmm. and went back to the trunk. Mm -hmm. Right. And got busy. Right. And did real good for myself. And you didn't give up on yourself. I didn't give up. So All never right. give up, guys. Don't give up. Ever. Go hard. When they tell you you can't do it, yeah. And if you don't do it, you're telling yourself no. I'm telling so you. just try. I'm telling you. You got to turn that no into an on to reverse it. I'm telling you. All right. So 10 years from now. Ten this years moment. from now, we gonna be on a big, big stage doing this. That's where I see us. Ten years from now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be married. Yes. Ooh, I'm, I'm claim it in married. Jesus' name. I'm gonna be married. I'm gonna be married to you, girl. You know who you are. Amen. I'm gonna be a successful manager in the industry. John Ray will be signed. Okay. Jazzy will be signed. Skater will be signed. Suave will be signed. Um, and I'm gonna be, you know. I'm gonna have that big mansion. We will be. Uh, my children will be. You know, have Good. everything they need. Amen. 
Um, You're putting it out there. I'm putting it out there Claim in the it. universe. Yes. You know, when, when, not if, when it happens. When. Yes, be, our pastor used to say that all the time. Not yeah. if, but when it happens. When I get that job, when I get that deal, when yeah. I get that car, when yeah. I get that wife. Yeah. Yes. Everything's going to be all right. Amen. I love that you said you're going to be married. Yeah, I'm going to be married. Our young people need to hear that that yeah. is still an option. Yeah. And there's so good women and men out here that want that. Sure. There is, sure. because at the end of the day, like, who are you going to come home to? The dog mm -hmm. gets boring after a while. Mm -hmm. And needy. Mm -hmm. Like, real needy. And then you're just like, dude, I'm done with you. Yes, you can still get married and have a good family, and there's still people that are of value that want those same things to build and grow with. You can't build alone, right? Most definitely. All right. I used to didn't think I was going to be married and all that stuff, but now it's like it's something that I Why really Why not? Like. I don't know. I don't know. That's I just, deep. That's going to be a whole other conversation. Yeah, it was just something that I just... Didn't see for yourself at the just time. Just didn't see it. Now, yeah. now it's just something that I know. That I, I can't want. wait to hear about it. Yeah. Or read it or see it. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, we need more weddings. We need more births. We need more weddings. We need less funerals. For sure. Yes, please. We don't need y'all to die anymore. Sure. We want y'all to grow. Our community needs to learn how to love again for sure. and be in love and, and, and not be afraid to be in love. For sure. Not be afraid to like connect with those feelings like, man, I love this girl. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with you. Nothing we wrong. all deserve to be loved. There's no craziness in it. There's a little bit. Most definitely. Yes. Amen. Um, so what I always do, too, is I ask, you know, um, you, you continue to rock and do what you do. Um, if you could be on stage with any person at this moment in your life, whether you open it up as an MC, as a host, as a rapper, as a mentor, who would you be on stage with right now? Tupac for sure. Tupac for sure. Oh my goodness, you guys must have something in common. That's right, you're both amazing. Cause he Tupac said Tupac for sure. Tupac, like he reminds me of myself the most. Um, I wish I could work with him. Man, I wish I could, I, wish I could have just been in the same space with him. Even for it was a coliseum full of fifty thousand people. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Definitely. Great man. They yes. knew what they were doing. Definitely. And they took them away from us. I know. But they didn't take them all the way because music's powerful, huh? Yeah, definitely. So powerful. Yeah. It doesn't him, go anywhere. Him or Nipsey, for sure. Nipsey. Yeah. Yes. And Nipsey was here moving silent and people didn't even realize yeah. his greatness. I'm so upset because he came here, here. and a long time he ago. He performed and I, and, and South, it was South even, Beach, not South Beach, before the time, before that. Yeah, yes. even before that, yeah. he was here before he even really got on. Right. And I could have got a verse with him. My right. man, my man, shout out to, to the homie Brandon. He's uh, Chief Keefe's uh, manager right. now. He's like, hey, you want a verse from Nipsey? It was only $700, and I was messed up then, and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. And yeah. I, and, and there'll, be, there'll be more times. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. he's, he's, he's yeah, dead Yeah, but now. I'm saying there'll be there'll be somebody almost as great as him. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You got a few of them on your roster right now. Oh, yeah. There almost you go. Definitely. You already know. You want to do any big up or shout outs to anybody out there in our uh, last couple seconds? Uh, shout out to the crew. Shout out to the Millies. Millionaire Music Group. We're right. On our way. Millionaire most Music Group. I like MMG. that brand, too. Yeah. MMG. Yep. Most definitely. All right. And shout out to all of you all who watch. I want to shout out everybody behind the scenes that gives us a platform and the space to do what we do. Thank you, CCX Media. I've been going here two years strong. Big up DJ Divine for letting me take over and do what I do and giving people in our community a platform and a space to elevate themselves. This is all about you all. If you want to be on the show, send us an email. Uh, big up to Big Tufa that was in the building earlier. And have a blessed day. And we'll see you next month. One love. My name is Buddy McLean, and when I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch On Stage, brought to you by First World TV. What's up, your big homie, and we back. 50 years of hip-hop celebration right here, 1301 10th Street North at the Phyllis Wheatley Field. I got the lady responsible, Miss Nikki Love. What's happening, baby? Hey, Devine. What's happening? I What's love happening? you, Devine. Love you back, baby. Love you back. You did a great job pulling this off. Smoke D help. Smoke D did Smoke D. Smoke D. <laughs> I think I knew what that means. So uh, how did you, how did you, was it hard to put this together? Well, it was Smoke D idea. And uh, we knew that it was 50 years of hip hop, August 11th. 2023, but you know it started August 11, 1973. That's so right. This makes 50 years, and you know, man, you used to do classic hip hop, baby. That's right. They on the radio. On the radio, KMOJ. We got the ties. 
classic hip hop Nikki Love and DJ Divine. And we ain't done. But anyway, it was his idea, so he asked me to do the logistics and do my part. They did tell me to stay in my lane. I did make 16 bars, but they told me I couldn't use them. You did a hell of a job, let me tell you, Nick. As always, when you put some stuff together, I almost cursed. When you put some stuff together, it's together, baby. Thank it's you. together. Thank you. You did a phenomenal job. And I'm glad you're here, because you're my man. You know that. You're my number one. <laughs> That's right. Hey, live on stage, Hip Hop Nation, DJ Divine, Nikki Love. It's the best. Peace. What's up, y'all? I'm Nicole Pacini. When I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch Hip Hop Nation on First World TV. Two, three, seven, seven, three, four, five, six. We definitely gonna have a good time today. I have this uh, light skinned dude in the building right now. He's called the one and only Black. Oh, the dark skinned dude. My bad. What's up, Black? What up with you, my dude? How you feeling? Oh man, I'm good. If you can get close to that mic right there. How you feeling? What a feeling. You know uh, what I mean? What a feeling? What a feeling. Man. Yeah, something like that, right? That's what today is all about. That's what it's about. What a feeling. Okay. I see y'all rocking y'all hands with me. Y'all feeling what I'm feeling. Okay, D Mac. You gonna vibe with me on this one, dog? Listen. It all started when I was a little boy. While the other kids were playing with toys, I heard this beautiful sound. It came from out of my mama's bedroom. That's when I knew what I wanted to do. Let me express it to you. What a feeling, what a feeling. Oh, y'all, what a feeling. I get when you come around me. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, what a feeling, what a feeling. Oh, y'all, what a feeling. My number one I get love. It when you come around me. Hey, yo, I feel good. Cause I love her, she feel good Cause she loves me too I love being in the studio alone with her I love writing, composing new songs with her I put pride in all my work, all my play And she always hit me when I got something to say Never ask about money nor where I stay And she'll always be down from state to state oh, What a feeling, what a feeling Oh y'all, what a feeling I get when you come around me Sheep on fly, imitators on fly, radios won't pop to this shit. Take the world, then the universe lake is just a pearl. On the grand scale, she's just a girl, and I'm just a man who loves to stay, but adjust the plans. Just a chance a nigga make it. Just, just enough, I take, take it all. Last up a big loaf, break it off. Can't walk to the sky if you're afraid to fall, my nigga. Be not not hey, looking like victory. Be not not looking, looking like victory. Be or not, oh right now we're the underdog. Soon we'll be the dog.
gun to cash like keep, keep that under ass, but don't glow Let them think that we'll go broke We fear not, because we know Fifties are stacking, my singles rising Benjamin's spilling all over the flow Plant big laurels, trees below They snatch these labels up by they throw Claim my more than they can afford Unless they pay me for each note And if I'm inclined to sign that dotted line You know I hand out more than hope Becoming colossal with every quote Paint a Picasso with every stroke they fall I fear not Looking like victory Fear not Looking, looking like victory Fear not Looking like victory Fear not Looking, looking like victory When? Fear not In this situation, you look good, so I'm feeling like finishing this conversation. Pull your body close to mine. Know you feel the elevation. Tonight is your downtime. Feel the sensation. Touch of temptations Body vibrations Queen of creation Feel the sensation Turn up the genuine Turn down your hesitations Everything gon' be alright Yeah, yeah, yeah This ain't just another night I feel tremendous Intoxicated Mixing like a chemist I'ma take you home My bed is vacant Once I taste it You gon' feel that sensation Touch of temptations Body vibrations oh, oh, oh. Queen of Hey, I'm singing Tony, and when I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch on stage live on Hip Hop Nation First World TV. Yes, Rasta.
Yes, y'all. Twin Cities. Worldwide. Yeah. Nothing can stand in our way. Truth Maze in the building. Yeah. Like to say, big up to Cash the Great. To my brother, live forever. King Yak, live forever. Truth Maze is in the building. Big up Afro Preacher, DJ Divine. CCX Media, here we are. Yeah.